Hi everybody, I hope you'll be alright. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a simple Java agent. Basically, Java agent is an internal uh, option of uh, JVM which lets you to instrument your input application. Now we start to create our first simple agent. So for doing this, I try with IntelliJ. I <coughs> to create our first very simple agent so we create a class file we call this agent uh, hello world and this this class name is very important because later on we need to point out to this class inside of a manifest file but I'm going to show you so don't worry about that now we need to import uh, the core basically library for instrumentation for agent instrumentation java and instrument and instrumentation as you can see here so here there is a one you know uh, basic difference between uh, an agent class and a normal class in normal way we usually define such a main class a main class like this we define a main class in this map However, here the difference is the name of the main, here we don't have main class and instead we call this pre-main and here we can, we call this agent arcs. Also we need an extra uh, argument, uh, works fine. So just a very simple code. So I just add this simple code and say uh, <coughs> That's all I need to say. So we need to save this file and I'm going to show you how to basically compile this because we need to basically convert uh, this this uh, agent to a package in order to make it um, portable and uh, use it on terminal to attach to other process. So this way is very generic and is not IDE dependent so you can use it uh, even without any ID. So here we go to src folder and then basically we first need to compile uh, this uh, agent, our agent class, our main class. So this is called uh, Gent Hello World. So, so it's, it's compiled successfully. Now we need to uh, turn it to a jar file. Okay, I would call this uh, Hello agent or I can call this agent 0 yeah. and now I need to point out to the class that I want to put it inside of the package which is called agent dot class so this is created successfully however we need a manifest file which point out to the uh, basically to pre-main class so I create very simply in terminal the uh, okay As I mentioned earlier, we need to point out the pre-main class. So the class name is agent. Um, agent. Okay, now we need to basically combine and add this, this uh, manifest file um, to, to our package file, to agents0.jar. So we do this 
like this. CVMF this time and uh, call and the class call. Yeah, so it is created successfully. Here is our process. There is a actually I have already created a test uh, network uh, application which uh, basically serve uh, some website. So this is our folder and so first I'm trying to run our uh, test application to see what is the result and then compare this with the result after attaching our agent to it. So I would uh, like this. So here the result in normal way, and we need to specify the path of the agent. Now we can see how our agent works out. So as you can see, our agent successfully injected uh, this part of the code to the beginning of the process, to the beginning of this Java application without having the source code. The Java agents uh, and instrumentation are very uh, cool concepts, especially in a case of uh, runtime profiling and uh, runtime security and program analyze because first of all we don't need the source code of the application which in real world condition usually the source code are not available or we are not allowed basically to crack or decompile the code uh, due to license policies and other stuff so uh, through uh, agent we can basically perform runtime team tracking and other cool stuff so in the next tutorials i'm going to create a more advanced and complicated and practical agent for you so if you like this video please uh, like this video and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching this